Out of all the years we've lived here, I have never seen the boils kick off right here in the marina. I've seen stripers chase shad in the marinas, but I've never seen a boil kick off in the marinas. That's just crazy to me right now. From my experiences though, whenever you're seeing everything right when the day starts, it's a bad day. It'll be a bad day of fishing, but I don't think that's going to be the case today. I see a boil over there. That's pretty cool. When I first launched, they are boiling over here. It's hot out here. What is it, like 100 or something? All right, so we got launched. We made it safe. Pretty much the update is water level went way down. Well, it is impossible to launch. If you don't have a 4x4, you're going to ruin your car. And uh, right now, there's boils. I'm going to come out here and have some fun. Let's get it. So that right there is what we call a boil. Boils happen when shad get rounded up by stripers, push them to the surface and just devour them. And that's what it looks like. If you throw a lure in there, catch fish all day long. Problem is you can't fish inside the tires. So maybe they'll go under the tires on the outside and catch catch one real quick. Cool. Trying to see what they're boiling after. See if I can find some. They're boiling after little shad. I don't know where they went. There they are. Oh, they're about to leave. They're swimming out. There's all that shad. You can cut see right, them flickering. Cut right, cut right. My goodness. It's the first We're one. Legal. We are now officially legal. Go ahead and cast right now. They're about to, they're all around here. Yeah. I don't know, but they're everywhere. Just cast along the tires. It looks like some are back there. Oh, this is the top water? Yeah. yeah. It's weird, they know, huh? The second they went outside the tires, they didn't come up anymore. There they are right there. Go ahead. Make a good cast. Where's your bait? There it is. They didn't see it. They just haven't seen it yet, I think. Oh, oh. You're about to catch him. Oh, man, he wanted it, too. They'll bite it, but the thing is, this they're going to be hard to catch because how small the, the bait is. the top water I've ever seen. There he is. There they are. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> Alright, here we go guys, look at this. This is Lead what oil season's about right here. There we go, that's a fish. Come on, oh, they don't like it. So uh, they're chasing these really small fry, and the really small fry look clear, so. I'm gonna try this real quick. See if that'll that'll catch him. That'll bark him. Well, I gotta say that is the fastest that I've ever seen fish on this lake so far. Literally launch our boat and fish, fish, fish right away. So um, we're already in the fish, <laughs> but today you can already tell what we're gonna be doing We're gonna be chasing boils out here on the drying lake Lake Mead, Nevada Water level still going down. I know a lot of you guys watching this right now might have seen uh, that video where we went over the water level at Lake Mead and how it's lowering and everything but I personally believe that with the water level lowering, the fishing's actually getting better because now there's not as many places to hide. So I don't know how long it'll stay good because obviously the shad are all gonna get eaten up, but uh, we're gonna enjoy the moments where we got them. You know, this year so far, it's looking like the fishing's gonna be crazy. I mean, they're jumping right behind me still. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and enjoy the time, throw on some top water, some swim baits, um, just a whole variety of different things. They're chasing little itty bitty shad right now. So a lot of times when they're doing that, they could be tricky to catch, but we're gonna just test a whole variety of baits and catch a lot of fish doing it. So should be an absolutely crazy day on the water. We've got boils off to our right, all around us. We got boils out there straight ahead, going nuts, and a boil straight ahead right there also. Just everywhere, everywhere I look, even to our left, far left, Back there, they're boiling way over there. The whole lake's on fire right now. It's the whole lake's literally boiling. This is insane. I'm gonna catch a fish really quick. So stripers have really good eyesight too. They got some of the high, they're like on the higher end of eyesight of a lot of fish. So it's important a lot of times, not really when they're boiling, it's not as important, but it's important a lot of times to make sure your presentation looks good or else they just won't be fooled by it. They're right there too. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> he had it in his mouth. These fish are being extremely picky right now and they're not biting much, so fishing a little A-rig. Obviously you can see boils are everywhere and I could bomb this thing out there, so. The only problem with my A-rig being so heavy right now is it sinks so deep. Holy, you can just see so many fish. They saw us, dang it, they saw the boat and dived. Oh, I got it. I had a chaser, I got chasers, I got chasers. Whole school chasing. The A-rig comes through. I might have two on or something. This one's fighting good. Possible too. That would be cool. He dove deep. He dove deep. <laughs> I was throwing all kinds of baits here oh, a second it's just ago. A big one. Oh, it's just a big one, yeah. So I was throwing all kinds of baits a second ago, a little while ago, and I wasn't. Oh, uh, it's because I double hooked them. And I wasn't catching any. And I switched to this A rig, and I'm at least catching them. We're having fun. He felt big because I double hooked him with the A-Rig. A little bit skinny of one though, so we're gonna let this guy go, but that's what our boiling though, so. This guy's gonna go back. Oh, yeah, right Alive. They're good. They're good for that was fun. I'm gonna go ahead and try out a different bait. Senior was killing it on this little thing. I just want to try to catch one on this. We always downsize. These guys are eating little tiny bait, so we're gonna see if this works a little bit better. Cause I've got probably five bites on that A rig that haven't hooked up. I'm thinking the swim baits are just a little bit too big. Got him. <laughs> it's only six pound test. So we got the drag set. Pretty loose. Especially these fish got real sharp teeth, so they'll bust your line real easy. They're not very big in this lake, but they're still a lot of fun to catch, especially when you're doing it like this. Little swim baits, six pound test, and just fighting them. Loosen up your drag a little bit too, just have fun with it. You're gonna catch a lot in a day. And yeah, they're not the biggest fish on the planet, but they're fun. All right, there we go. Look at everything he coughed up. Did he cough? Oh, geez. Here, I'm gonna try to grab one. So these are what they're eating. I got one in my hand right there. That's what they're eating. That is just a little tiny shad larva. You can see the little eyeball. And that's why they're not biting anything right now. We're having a hard time catching them. Cause that is literally what they're eating. So you can see, we tried to downsize the best we can. We got the, the right color, but this is why it's still having a hard time catching them because they're literally feeding on the tiniest little bait ever right now. That's why they're hard to catch sometimes, because these guys, they're not even really chasing. They're just going on the top and mouthing the surface and swallowing them. Oh, nice. I was already <laughs> going to say, you didn't even cast me on the boil. <laughs> <laughs> I was leading him. Fighting good, he's fighting good. This is what makes these little fish fun when you have six pound tests and just sit here on light equipment and fight him for a while. I feel like I got a monster. He's running deep. <laughs> Come on. Man, he choked. I think uh, he the one at that bait. Oh yeah, he took it. <laughs> there we go. Look out. <laughs> Looks 
looks like they like this little thing. It's coming at me. Yeah, these are little guys boiling right here. Look at this little guy. The little ones are easy to clean, right? Yeah, they're the easiest to clean. Perfect. Perfect. I think they're the best eating too when they're this small. Man, looks like they like this though. Come on. Oh, come on, dude. They took it. Oh, well. Yeah, they got sharp teeth. He swallowed it all the way down. So that's what I was saying earlier. These things got sharp teeth and with the six pound test, you gotta be a little bit careful. I probably should have netted them, but we were literally driving to our next spot. I was just gonna grab them, but we got plenty. Little cheap bait. Sorry about that little guy. So you can see the fish out here aren't very big at all, uh, but they're still a, a heck of a lot of fun to catch. And especially when they're boiling like this, you can catch a lot of them in a day. And if you like eating fish, it's the perfect time to come fill the freezer. There's plenty of fish to go around here and it's just gonna get nothing but better from here because right now they're eating the little larva, like the little, not larva, but the little micro fry, and they're kind of hard to catch, but once those fry kind of start getting bigger and bigger and bigger, the stripers get easier and easier and easier to catch. So the only problem is the water level's so low that it's getting extremely hard to launch. I kind of think that's one of the reasons that the bite has been so good right now. It's because that there's like hardly anybody out here fishing. I mean, all these boils to ourselves. there's one other boat that just showed up it is very hard to get your boat in so if you've got a boat that takes deep water to launch i would almost not recommend it because it's kind of it's iffy it's iffy but uh, if you can get out here bites great <laughs> bites phenomenal right now all right well i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um striper fishing out here in the dying lake it feels like this lake just continues to go down and who knows how much longer I'll be able to get out here and chase boils on my boat with but had an absolute blast we only chased them for like an hour and now we're gonna go do some bow fishing so if you guys love our bow fishing content tilapia should be shallow and uh should be our next video also so keep an eye out for that hope you guys enjoy our content lately uh we've got a big push of support recently and i'm very appreciative over it so i want to thank you guys a lot for helping out and uh Hope you guys enjoy the next video also, but other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.